So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. We're with you at the St. Jakob Park here in Basel, certainly one of the most aesthetically pleasing stadia in Europe. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed he gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf but when the goal's in front of him he's also got that cool head that's required to to pick a spot and finish everything off i think the opposition defense agreed too he's going to be the source of so many of their headaches the whistle and here's Messi he gets past his man room for a shot Messi he can pounce on that marvellous goal it's hardly a surprise is it that's what we're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times yet yet another example Mbappe was quick to move in Keeper's handling wasn't great. Oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just a bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up. Paris Saint-Germain ahead. One goal to the good. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. He's left his man. Messi, he's gone for it! There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Now shoot! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. In the end, they found themselves penned in. Nowhere to go. Messi. There he goes, motoring for. He's had a go! in double quick time and that really is so so impressive well none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then but i'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run and he really did fill that defense into wondering what he was going to do next paris saint germain have a couple of goals without reply it's 2-0 the turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. Marquinhos gets it away. Messi battles to win it back. Cuts it out. Wijnaldum plays it forward. Neymar going through. Neymar.
first half compared with your expectation? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Paris Saint-Germain sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Already up and running for the second half. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Di Maria. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Tries to switch the play. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Now it's Neymar. He's got away. Neymar. It's Neymar! Retrieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Mbappe. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's not as if. He didn't have people nearby. And he's on his way! Goes down, but nothing given. Gets away from his opponents. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. He's through and all of Mbappe! Get that clear. Paris Saint-Germain cannot keep hold of the ball. Dagba. Driving on now, what goes for goal? Yes! And they are cruising away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward the numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal. So that's it, it is all over. Paris Saint-Germain, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they put on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. So what do you take away from it, Aldrin? Yeah, and a result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and a lesson dealt. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, Good afternoon.